प्रेज बेटी गार्ड हेलो चिल्ड्रन माई सब सिंधु डिक्सन बैक अगेन विद योर कैटेगरीजन क्लासेस आई होप यू ऑल फाइन एंड एन्जॉय योर टेन डेज ऑन वेकेशन सो इट्स नाइस इट्स ग्लैड दैट यू आर वी आर टूगेदर टू लर्न अबाउट जीसस क्राइस्ट जीसस द सन ऑफ गॉड दैट वॉज द नेम ऑफ आर लेसन आई होप यू ऑल रिमेंबर राइट येस God has blessed us with a wonderful day one more wonderful day to be with him to know more about him and to love him let us pray to god today that he must bless us and help us to uh, fill us with your his holy spirit fill us with his holy spirit to know more about him and help us to draw closer to him in the previous two classes we were talking about jesus the son of god and how god the father witnessed his own beloved son at two different incidents during the lifetime of jesus christ first one was the baptism of jesus christ in which you saw how jesus proclaimed and called him this is my beloved son with whom i am well pleased and the second incident was at the mount tabor where the transfiguration happened and jesus god the father again said this is my beloved son listen to him and how you also saw how the prophets elijah and moses appeared there and how the disciples three disciples were given a glimpse of the glorious vision after seeing the two wonderful incidents of the about the witness of father here today we are going to see how jesus is trying to uh, tell his disciples about Jesus and Father are one. Jesus and the Father are one. You all know you have you have been learning right from your small classes about the blessed trinity. Let's see that. Jesus and Father are one. At the last supper Philip told Jesus, "Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied." Jesus replied, "What did he say? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father?" do you know do you not believe that i am in the father and father is in me the words that i say to you i do not speak on my own but the father who dwells in me does this work believe me that i am in father and the father is in me in smaller classes your teachers must have uh, shown you leaves or flowers petals and said this is blessed it's like the blessed trinity is like this it's like a flower with three petals god the father the son and the holy spirit also teachers must have told you but the sun we have one sun but we get a uh, heat and light and energy from sun like that uh, some teachers must have even told you about uh, the ice water uh, three different uh, states of water like ice the ice form the liquid form the the vapor form but it is all one just like that it's beyond our knowledge it's beyond our explanations but still it's it's only a ch- child if you have a child like heart you can easily understand that jesus and son the trinity and all but here jesus is trying to tell us if you know me you have if you have seen me you have seen father that means they are one i and the father are one and it's it's in the three stages that christ reveals god as father the first one is jesus calls the father as the creator and the originator of all things that's what we always proclaim in our apostles creed right i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth as christians we always keep it close to our mind and this is our proclamation we believe it we believe it whatever the science say we believe it's our god the boomerang theory or what ever comes in your mind but that is science that's a different field but this is our faith and we believe that god said god the father i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth that is truth and the second time second thing is that to show the father son relationship jesus calls god father jesus father son relationship that's a very um, 
great relation the great one of the greatest relationships that you can see in this earth right father son relationship our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done you know that wonderful prayer this is this has also become a part of our life just like the apostle creed and again you can see christ reveals god as father here it is a little more shows the unconditional love of god jesus is never possessive with his father about his father right you can see as god is the father of all human kinds jesus refers to him as your father also your father not only my father he is so free he is feel giving us if in, if you, you have a brother or a sister in his in your house and you say mommy loves her more and not me there is some kind of possessiveness sibling rivalry and all in our house right but here you can see a son who is so uh, unconditionally loving every one of us and he is so freely giving his own father to each and every one of us you know in the previous class you must have seen uh, we are the heirs of the kingdom of god we are known as the children of god we are the children of god can you imagine yes through baptism we all are have become children of god and the same holy spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of god as the verse the word of god says that if children then heirs heirs of god is join heirs with christ we are all join heirs with christ that means we are all one big family church is a big family you have learned it right through baptism we have joined the big family called the church and church is a big home big house a big family and a god is a big father here you can see how jesus established a relationship with father father son relationship it was purely through prayer personal personal prayer you must have seen in several locations in the gospel you can see how jesus went alone to the to a lonely place to the mountains and in the garden and he preferred to be alone and he wanted to talk to god prayer is always a conversation with god talking to god and thus his relationship was built and became strong with god just like that we must also have a relationship with god the father through prayer this is a very important thing in our life as children we must start talking to god you must always make a relationship with god especially this will help you when you grow up also when you have to make a decision in your life now you are just kids but after 4 or 5 years you have to decide what to do in your life what is your vocation should i be a priest should i be a nun should i be a doctor or a or an engineer or 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 an astronaut i don't know but god knows it god knows what is perfect for you so it is always good to seek his 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 will god's will and this can be known only through prayer if you pray to god you will be able to know the will of god and your dream and god's dream will become one so we must always build a beautiful relationship with god through prayer so on sundays you should never miss holy mass okay nowadays i know it is not uh, easy to go out for a mass but please uh, watch online mass and uh, get the blessings of god okay now now we are going to move on to the next one. now still now we were talking about father and son is one okay now we are going to move the first before that we learned the witness of god Uh, about Jesus Christ now we are going to see the witness of a human kind in the previous lesson also we saw the witness of John the Baptist now we are going to see the witness of another person who is known as the rock the rocking peter the witness of peter listen now when jesus came into the district of caesarea philippi he asked his disciples who do people say that the son of man is and they said some say john the baptist others say elijah and others jeremiah or or one of the prophets he said to them but what do you say that i am 
who do you say that i am what do you think who do you say i am i was wondering if the same question is asked to you and me what will be our answer but listen to the answer of peter do you want to hear that yes peter replied and said you are the christ the son of the living god you are the christ the son of the living god my god what a witness right how did he know that how did how could he say that can you imagine how jesus must have felt after hearing the proclamation or the witness of peter saying that you are christ the son of the living god he must have been so glad and hugged him and kissed him right i hope so and you know what happened he even said see it's not from your knowledge this has not this is for this truth did not come to you from any human being but it was given to you directly by my father in heaven no human can say that only if the spirit is in you you can proclaim the word of god that is the most important thing and we too are the disciples of jesus and it becomes our duty to proclaim jesus through our life and deed like peter and you know what happened to peter after that the next moment you know what jesus said peter you are a rock and on this rock foundation i will build my church and not even death will ever be able to overcome it i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and what you prohibit on earth will be prohibited in heaven and what you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven then jesus ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was a messiah so here you can see the glorious proclamation of about jesus christ the witness of peter yes my dear children like peter we must also witness jesus christ okay and we must be also able to open our mouth and say it's jesus you are the real king of kings we must always follow the footsteps of jesus christ in this world jesus our savior and we must always avoid the situations of sin and we must help others to avoid such circumstances so this is very important so now we all are in seventh standard you you are big now you know what is sin and you have been confessing all these uh, time but now we are in a situation that we cannot confess but you must always plead to god to forgive your sins and never let others sin because of us okay so you must be very careful and make sure that you will not sin and avoid all the occasions of sin and we must help others to avoid such circumstances also okay so as we have come to the end of this lesson jesus the son of god let me tell you first we learned about the witness of god uh, about jesus christ and we saw the two wonderful incidents uh, the baptism of jesus christ and the transfiguration of jesus christ then we learned jesus and father are one they are same and then we were talking about the witness of peter about jesus christ as he is the son of god these are the three things that uh, uh, we learned in this lesson so as in our life we always must keep in mind that through baptism we are the children of god and the heirs of god and the joint heirs with christ so we must lead a life that shows that shows that we are really christians the followers of christ and we who have become the children of god through baptism must pray without ceasing we must always pray to god and build a strong relationship with god the father and we must be united with him and experience victory in life okay and always remember we must be eagerly waiting to say 
God say that this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Okay, so be good children, be beloved uh, children of the family and be beloved children of God the Father and heavens too. Okay, God bless you all, love you all. Who do the crowd say I am? Some say that you are John the Baptist. Others say that you are Elijah. While others say that one of the prophets of long ago has come back to life. What about you? Who do you say I am? You are God's Messiah. You shall tell no man of this. The Son of Man must suffer much and be rejected. He will be put to death. But three days later will be raised to life.